the Texas Constitution of 1876, the current Constitution for the state, is about 63,000 words. Conversely, the U.S. Constitution is only about 4,000. According to Seth McKay in his book, Seven Decades of the Texas Constitution of 1876, the Texas Constitution resembles a code of laws rather than a constitution, and this is consistent with other states' constitutions. The U.S. Constitution has lasted a very long time, to date more than 200 years. As a consequence, states saw the best way to make a system of government stick was to draft it into a constitution. States often went to extremes, however. While the U.S. Constitution was a hard-fought compromise, many state constitutions were more one-sided. While the U.S. Constitution lists only the things the government can do, state constitutions, including the Constitution of Texas, are very long and list all of the things the government can't do. The Texas Constitution has many requirements and limitations and is considered one of the most restrictive constitutions among the states. The first article of the Texas Constitution contains the Texas Bill of Rights. Many of these rights have already been mentioned in other presentations explaining the U.S. Bill of Rights. Among the many sections in the Texas Bill of Rights are Section 1, which declares the sovereignty of the state of Texas. Section 2 declares that all political power is inherent in the people. Further, the faith of the people stands pledged to a republican form of government. Note, this refers to the type of government, not the political party, and it concludes that the people may alter, reform, or abolish the government when necessary. Section 3 declares all persons have equal rights. Section 3A follows up by stating equality under law shall not be denied or abridged because of sex, race, color, creed, or national origin. Section 16 mirrors the U.S. Constitution by declaring there shall not be any bills of attainder or laws that impose a criminal penalty without a trial, no ex post facto or retroactive laws, and no laws impairing the obligation of contracts. Also notable, Section 18 protects you from imprisonment for debt. In other words, if you owe a private party money, you can't be thrown in jail for lack of payment. Finally, Section 30 of the Texas Constitution also includes a section on victims' rights.